This is the after, and right here, obviously this is the before uh, without the visor. What's going on guys, this is Chris Time FK7. Welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna to be installing some wind divisors on this 2021 Honda Civic Sport hatch. And I've heard people call these differently. Uh, I've heard some people call them rain guards, some people call them side window deflectors, and some even call them wind visors. But to keep things short and simple, I'm just gonna call them window visors. And so this is the first time I'm featuring the motorcycle on my channel. Uh, because it is the end of January, so just a couple months, it's going to be spring. I'll be teaching you guys how to ride a motorcycle, and I'll be doing motorcycle reviews. So I'm very excited for that, or even when the weather warms up, stay tuned for that. Anyways, the window visors that I got for this vehicle is from Basin R. I bought these for only $60, uh, $59.99 to be exact, and which I'll link down below in the description, so check that out if you're interested. So the reason for these window visors is it helps kind of protect your window from any of those contaminants outside, uh, even from scratching. Even if it's just a little piece, um, it's still, you know, advanced protection. It also kind of shades you from the sun a little bit, and also when it rains, it kind of shields off that rain so that you can have your window slightly open with these little visors on uh, because the water is not going to come inside and not only does it provide that it also makes the car look different so it adds a little extra to the appearance look of the vehicle so I'm very excited to install these it's pretty easy to install it only takes about 30 to 45 minutes but yeah let's go So just like my last video, I'm going to be putting a GoPro on my head. That way you guys can have like a point of view of whatever I'm seeing. Let's go ahead and unbox this. Alright, so as you can see, we have this bag right here, which contains all of the window visors. So this is what the window visor looks like. Now it's not completely black. Um, this looks like it's about 20% tinted. So yeah, this will can add a little more aesthetic appearance as well as protect you from, again, with, when it rains or snows and you want to roll down the window a little bit. And you get four of these and they do come with clips and it also has 3M on the back. That way when you're driving down the highway, it's not gonna be flying off. So you'll have a peace of mind. These are guaranteed not to fly off. And again, no tools required. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna do is to clean out your windows. That way, if there's any oil or dirt debris, it won't interfere with the adhesion of the tape. Because if there is any sort of dirt or debris, there's a good chance that these will fall off while you're driving. It's best to clean your windows before installing. And what I'm using is alcohol. Um, and of course I have my microfiber cloth. So we're just gonna clean this part right here. Make sure there's no dirt or any sort of debris. I'm gonna make it nice and shiny. We're gonna go ahead and take our visor and we're gonna measure. So this visor is approximately gonna be like this on your window. So it's gonna sit like this. Just like that. 
we're gonna keep it aligned right here it's best if you open your door that way you can test out the fitment um, so I have it about right over here and we're gonna have this side right over here just like that so it's gonna be like that you're gonna take a part of the tape off like this and then you're gonna have the tape just out like that so now that you have some of the tape kind of hanging out you're gonna go ahead and go on the other side and take this tape as well have this hang out like that okay once you do that you can go ahead and stick it you don't want it to be crooked you gotta make sure it's straight and once you're happy with the measurement go ahead and push down this is why it's important to have the tape kind of hanging out so that you can just pull this and while you're pulling you're gonna push apply pressure that way the visor will stick and again you don't want to be too close to this uh, otherwise it might snap off and once this snaps off you're gonna go on this side down here for a backup so go ahead and continue there you go done and then you're gonna take this and then peel this off as well and apply your pressure boom just like that Got to make sure that it's fully stuck on to the window. All right, so this is the final result of just one side. This is the driver's side. This is the after. And right here, obviously, this is the before uh, without the visor. It makes the car look a little better because you have like this black visor right here. And it goes well with the tinted windows as well. So when you do get your car, I highly recommend getting your windows tinted. But that should be one of the first mods that you should be doing as well as getting one of these after you tint your windows. Otherwise, if you get one of these before you tint your windows, then it's gonna look weird. But yeah, these two are a must do, especially this is very affordable. It's only $60. Take your other visor and the same thing you did with this, you can do the same thing with your rear. So go ahead and take a piece of your tape, let it hang like so. And when you're installing, you got to make sure that it doesn't go past your little gloss pillar right here. If it goes past, it's going to end up hitting the other visor. You see how we have a lot of space here? That's too much space. And we have this part passing the pillar. We don't want that. So we're going to go ahead and adjust it. That's why it's important not to put pressure on this right here or this where your tape is exposed because if you do, then you're not gonna be able to adjust it. So once you're happy with the position, uh, like I am right now, you are now gonna go ahead and take your tape off. There you go. Now the car is complete with the visors. Uh, I don't know how well you guys can see because it's dark. So since we're done sticking the visors on, uh, since we did get our fingerprints all over this, so we're gonna go ahead and wipe it down with alcohol and a microfiber cloth. Uh, that way it won't have fingerprints all over. And then there you go. That is the final product. There's a huge difference uh, in terms of looks. This looks so much better. So this is what the inside looks like. As you can see, we have part of the visor right there that's showing. And it really makes a huge difference. Now my windows are already tinted, but this actually just adds an extra layer of tint over your already tinted windows. So that if anybody's like walking by or if there's a truck, they'd be a they'd be peeking in because they'd be up there somewhere they're not gonna be able to see because of these visors so like anybody that's walking that's taller than the car they want to peek in this will be blocked from their visibility because of this visor um, but yeah we have a nice little sunset going on over there and 
yeah, it's a, it makes a huge difference, um, especially if your significant other decides to fart. Um, all you gotta do is just crack your window and yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right guys, so that about wraps up this video. As you can see, we're just using the tape to hold these together in place. And they seem pretty safe uh, because even if I'm moving it around, it's not, you know, it doesn't feel like it's gonna be coming off. So I highly recommend getting these visors because it does help complete the look of the car. Uh, it makes the car even more unique uh, because of these visors. It also protects you from when it's raining or snowing. If you wanna roll down your windows a little bit uh, to get some fresh air in, uh, because I know how that feels when your significant other or your passenger farts. Um, I know how that feels, so... <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> you better not include that in the I will vlog. include it. I will. <laughs> it's, it's important to have these, especially if it's raining or snowing out. You can't really roll down the window. Um, but now you can, so if you do smell that stinky stink fart, <laughs> Can roll these down a little bit and you know have that air escape <laughs> but anyways this does really look nice on the car it makes it look super nice uh, especially with the tinted windows and um, with the Instagram handle and it's a white car uh, because you have the white and black accents it really helps complete the look anyways thank you all for watching this is Chris time FK7 if you like this video give this video a like comment down below what you think of this video uh, if you have any questions or suggestions on future mods that I should be doing to this car because I do look at the comments regularly and I do respond um, especially if you have a question regarding this car or any future mods be sure to subscribe to this channel because I will be doing more videos of this car as well as motorcycles tech and a little bit of gaming and I did leave a link of the floor mats uh, down in the description you guys should check it out because I did recently make a video of those floor mats and what the difference of those floor mats compared to the OEM factory mats that came with the vehicle they do make a big difference uh, in terms of cleaning and looks so make sure you guys check that out I'll also be linking it down in the description on where you can buy it they are having a sale right now it's $99 where at regular price you'll be paying $159.99 so basically $160 plus tax uh, on regular price mats for this vehicle. It only lasts until the end of January. Anyways, thank you all for watching. This is Chris Time FK7. Peace out. <laughs> Anyways, this is Chris Time FK7, and peace out. <laughs>